So I'd like to introduce the first speaker of the morning, Mr. Glenn Elms, MP, Member for Noosa and Shadow Minister for Climate Change and Sustainability. Welcome, Glenn. Thank you, Michael, and to, uh, to Bob and, and Stephen, distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, I've got to tell you, I'm, I'm pleased beyond belief uh, to be here today and be invited to play a role and officially announce a very important business sponsorship and association for the Noosa Biosphere. Can I also say how honoured I am to have been introduced this morning by Michael Donovan, the Chair of the Governing Board of the Biosphere. Michael's rare passion continues to drive the biosphere and he never, ever, ever misses an opportunity to sell it and sell its worth. In particular, I'm reminded of only a couple of weeks or a couple of months ago, it was now, uh, of the visit to Noosa by the head of UNESCO, who was based in Paris, Dr Irina Bakova. Uh, and she came to have a look at what Michael and the board and the community have achieved here at Noosa. But the biosphere didn't just come about yesterday, it's taken many, many years. I recall as a newly elected member for Noosa back in 2006, being part of a group photo at the Noosa Heads Lookout celebrating the Biosphere submission. President at the time was Mayor Bob Abbott, Federal Member for Fairfax, Alex Somalay, the uh, Federal Environment Minister at the time, Greg Hunt, Tony Haslam, Michael Gloucester and some others. On that particular day, I was certainly the ring-in. Others have played a very active and important role as well. The list is long, but I'd particularly like to acknowledge Bruce Davidson, Stephen Poole, Ralph, uh, Ralph Weichart and Ben McMullen. The Noosa Biosphere Reserve was one of the great final achievements of the Noosa Shire Council following the granting of the rare, rarely bestowed man and the Biosphere Reserve status from UNESCO. The Noosa Biosphere Reserve is unique amongst Biosphere Reserves throughout the world. Most of the 564 Biosphere Reserves located in 109 countries lie within national parks. By definition, that makes the Noosa Biosphere Reserve very special, as it's not just a national park, but home to a population of live, warm bodies, of rare people. Uh, in the case of Noosa, people are an integral <coughs> part of the biosphere, and not just sometime visitors, who, as someone once said, taking nothing but a photograph and leaving nothing but a footprint. As people of planet Earth, we live, we breathe, we consume, we create, we mine, we manufacture, we build, we destroy, we pollute, we make, uh, we make and we lay waste. In short, we use and we utilise. From all of these activities and more, we impact on our environment and more importantly, we impact on our biodiversity. The extent by which we can create a lifestyle we want and still maintain our biodiversity for me is the benchmark of this community's sustainability. Noosa is a very, very special place. Friends of Noosa spokesman Bob Ansett has written the first of a two-page special article which I think will appear in this week's Noosa Journal in which he challenges the Noosa community to look into their souls and share with others why their Noosa is so special to them. The second article should be an even more enlightening read than the first as others who love Noosa will share their thoughts. It is a special place because people like Noel Playford provided the leadership to a community which had a vision that Noosa was special and had to be preserved. Bitter battles were fought against the odds and against those who sought to exploit Noosa's lifestyles and values through the property market and which would have destroyed that that is irreplaceable. I'm not here to write or rewrite history. But Bob Abbott, our Mayor, should also be given great credit for his part in keeping Noosa Noosa. He knows what it's like to lose sleep from being sued personally as he fought to preserve that for which we remain grateful today. As Mayor of the Sunshine Coast Regional Council, Bob is in the firing line for anything and everything about which people feel aggrieved or want to complain. He has inherited an amalgamated system of local government handed down from on high, which may or may not be successful, which may or may not continue. The fight maintained to this day by residents of the former Noosa Shire shows just how passionate they are about this very special place on earth. 
and why it is the Noosa biosphere is an integral part of the fabric of this community. What distinguishes man and the biosphere designation is the community's active participa participation in innovative conservation of landscapes, ecosystems, species and genetic variation. It's also about sustainable development, which is economic and social and culturally adaptive and which provides logistical support through research, monitoring, environmental education and training. Man and the Biosphere programs go still further. They share their ideas and their plans, their programs and their achievements, their successes and perhaps, yes, even their failures. They are, in effect, laboratories for the world. If mankind is to survive, then a biosphere such as we have in Noosa that involves humanity as much as the environment must also survive is we, if we are to avoid the legacy of desolation and hopelessness for future generations. The community is as always the key. Whatever the community wants, if it sticks at it long enough and hard enough, it will prevail. Of that, let there be no doubt at all. It is the community which establishes the standard for which example legislation reflects. Sometimes we might think that there is a lag in the process, and perhaps there is. But often what is perceived as lag time provides the necessary framework for bringing the whole community together. And so it will be with sustainability objectives. Let, there will be leaders who emerge ahead of the pack and before their time. There will be leaders who emerge to be identified with sustainability goals. These goals may be in water conservation, harvesting or recycling. They may be in replacing fossil fuel generated energy with renewable sources. They may be in curbing waste and, and in recycling. They may be in managing our naturally occurring food supplies, particularly from the ocean. They may be in managing the effects of climate change, whether you believe climate change is man-made or not. But certainly these leaders in each of these and other fields will be stewards overseeing the policies of government and the practices of business. It is these stewards who will be the forward scouts, the advance guard if you like, on patrol for the community. It will be these stewards which governments at each level will seek to placate and hold on a leech in a variety of ways while at least the majority of the community catches up. It will be these stewards which governments at each level will seek to placate and hold on a leash while business is given time to retool through investment certainty and absorb mandated costs knowing that the future landscape in which they will be required to operate will look like. So what does all of this mean? It means that we're all in a partnership, all of us together. Some will be willing participants, others will not. Many will be nervous, some will be critical, even highly critical. There will be tension, hopefully that will be dynamic. The process will be evolutionary, not revolutionary. This reality, which I have described as valid at both a global and at a local level. All of what I have said is applicable here in Noosa by the Noosa community, by the council, and particularly today by a local and progressive business. The residents of this community wanted to be a man and the biosphere reserve. And the business community has started to notice and has joined in the partnership. Ladies and gentlemen, I now turn to the purpose of today, and that is to announce the sponsorship of the biosphere projects. These projects are the Noosa Biosphere website, the Noosa Biosphere Day celebrations, which are set down for the 19th of September this year. And the Voices of the Biosphere, a community program to be broadcast on Noosa Community Radio 101.3 FM.